In this lesson, what we're going to do is take a look at working with animation symbols. Animation in fireworks has been around for a very long time, but I want you really clear on the fact that this is not animation that you're used to, say, in Flash or Edge. This is straight GIF animation, so that means it's a straight line. To get yourself started, open up animationsymbol.png, and when it opens, you'll see a, an instance of the coffee cup symbol that's in your document library sitting on the canvas. You know it's an instance because of that little blue cross. To turn this into an animation symbol, all you have to do is right-click on the instance, convert to symbol, and we'll call it coffee cup. And we're going to make it an animation symbol. Click OK. And the animate dialog box opens. Now let's go through this. The first question you're asked is how many states do you want to have? Think of this if you're used to working with animation applications, the number of frames in the animation. And in this case, let's go with 10. So we're going to have 10, 10 states. We're not going to move it any great direction. We can move it from 0 to 700. You see the width of the page is 760, so I can move it any way. Positive numbers move it to the right. Negative numbers move it to the left. We don't need a direction. If I have a direction, and you can see that it uses this little wheel here, it's going to move straight up in whatever direction we've chosen, or straight down in the direction we've chosen. We can choose a final scale value. We can choose to change the opacity. So let's change the opacity from 20% and have it over 10 frames come up to 100% or 10 states. And let's rotate it across 360 degrees. So it's going to rotate in a circle right from its center point, which is the instance. Click OK. And you can see there's that faded out coffee cup. And if you come down to the bottom of the canvas, you'll see a little player here. Click the play button. And you can see that our coffee cup is now twirling in space. OK, stop the animation. Click the rewind button to get back to the start. And click on the animation symbol. Now, when you click on the animation symbol, You'll notice that there are states. There's the opacity. Okay, we go from 20 to 100%. It doesn't scale, and we're rotating at 360 degrees. And this tells me the direction of the rotation clockwise or counterclockwise. You'll also notice that the animation is now in the document library. Now, what if we want to move this from this point here over to here? Well, that's the purpose of this red dot. If you click and hold on it and drag it across, you can now set the path. So the green dot is where it starts, the red dot is where it ends. And if you press the play button, you can see it tumbles across the canvas. Okay, we'll stop that. Other things that you can do, you can go into the states panel. The states is where each of the instances is. And you notice that you can click through them and see what your coffee cup looks like at each state of the animation. Or if you want, you can hold down the shift key, select state 10, and there's a little button here called onion skinning. And if you just say show all states, you can see the entire animation state by state. So you can see how it changes as it moves through the animation. Okay, we'll close the uh, no onion skinning. Another thing that you can do is slow this thing down. It moves a little bit too quickly for my liking. And that's what the purpose of this number is up here. So if you hold down the shift key, select state 10 as well, you've selected all the states. Now double click on the number seven and you will see that this is a state delay. And basically what this is saying is that we are holding on that state or frame for seven one hundredths of a second. So let's slow it down to, we'll say 10 one hundredths of a second. Press the enter key, enter a return key, and you'll see that the numbers all change to 10. And if we click the play button, it's a whole lot slower. So there you go. There's how you can create an animation symbol. I showed you that you can take existing symbols and put them in other symbols. This technique, by the way, is called nesting. I showed you how to use the uh, animation dialog box where you can set the number of states, the opacity, the distance, scaling, and all that. This is all available to you as well right here on the Properties panel. 
you know that now that this is the start point, the green dot is the start point, and the red dot is the end point of the animation, and you can test your animation simply by clicking the play button. If you want to slow it down, just simply hold down the shift key, select all your states, double click the state delay number, and just change the state delay. If you want to speed it up, lower numbers. If you want to slow it down, high numbers. I can't tell you what they are. They're up to you.